Okay, in the previous episode, I didn't actually finish the cutscene at the very <sighs> end. And, you know, since I really like what Arctic's Entertainment did with their story and everything, I'm just going to do a little thing of just the cutscene. And I'm going to try and explain the story and backstory a little more smoothly. This character is the Sepulchre. He's the main evil villain in previous Arctic's Entertainment games. Um, basically, he sold his soul to the sword he's holding. And so now he's a super powerful undead necromancer who leads the undead horde. And he's constantly trying to defeat the king of lore, King Alkion the Good, who was previously his best friend. And so now they're fighting each other for what they think is going to be the final battle for lore and control of the earth. And now, I already chose between good and evil, so let's go with good, and I actually can't, you can't change after the first time you've done it. And now, boom. And that's the Sepulchre's daughter, Gravelin, who becomes the new leader of the Shadow Sight after he gets messed up by Drakath. And like I said, Drakath was an evil prince in the game of Dragon Fable. He believed that King Alkion had stolen the kingdom from him and his family, so he worked with Dra with the Sepulchre for a long time trying to usurp Alkion, and then he went rogue after the Sepulchre betrayed him and tried to kill Alkion himself, and then he disappeared for quite a while. And now he's um, become in... he's full of chaos powers. So they say Draca. And... He's super being. Mm. What? Fool, you cannot kill what is already undead. My mistake. The sepulchre has a daughter, a museum. The battle between good and evil is over. Now begins the age of chaos. What is happening to me, Dracos? What have you done? Heh, <laughs> not feeling like yourself, King. You and this pathetic hero can't stop what I am about to do to your world. Watch as my thirteen lords of chaos destroy everything you love. I will save you two for last. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Adventure Quest Worlds. The Thirteen Lords of Chaos. And now, basically, you can rewatch the cutscene. There's a little shop for members only. And basically, what's going to happen now is Dracath is going to choose 13 people to be endowed with powers of chaos so he can go and completely make the world fall apart. Thus is the way of chaos. And now you know a bit more about the backstory. I hope this was helpful if you were actually interested in the story. And if you didn't like it, well, click dislike, I don't care. Have a nice, have a nice night, Adventure Quest Worlds, and you too, you too.